Multi-camera editing is a great way to make your videos more engaging and professional. In this video, I will tell you everything you need to know about how to shoot and edit videos shot on multiple cameras. It's great to have multiple camera angles because if something goes wrong during filming, you can always fix it in editing by switching to another camera. Of course, multi-camera editing requires some skills and equipment, but it's actually not as hard as it might seem. First of all, it's best to have a special cable to sync cameras together so that they start and stop recording at the same time. This is incredibly convenient, but let's say you don't have a second or even third camera and you've never even heard of a sync cable. What do you do in that case? That's where smartphones come into play. If you don't live alone, your relatives will surely lend you their phones for a few hours. Of course, it can be difficult to sync recording later, so in this case, I simply recommend shooting everything in one take. The most important thing is that each smartphone Phone must record videos with sound. This will make it much easier to sync all the video in post-production. At the beginning of the recording, clap your hands or say something very loudly. Oh. This will serve as a marker on the timeline and make syncing much easier. You will still be able to sync without that, but with clapping, it's easier. Also, think about where you're going to put the other cameras. If you're shooting a video of yourself, then something with your hands. Be sure to get a top-down shot. If you don't have a tripod, you can just get a close-up of your hands. Most of the time, one overhead shot and one shot of your face will be enough. Sometimes you can get a third shot of your face, but that's overkill. In my case, it's two slightly different shots of my talking head. Lighting is also super important here. When you use multiple cameras, lighting becomes a little more complicated because you and the studio you record in looks different from each angle. You will definitely get away with the basic lighting scheme. One main softbox, a fill light, and a backlight. However, when you have two or more cameras, it's a good idea to crank up the fill light so that you your face doesn't have shadows on the second camera. And don't forget that shooting video on multiple cameras, especially if you're doing it all in one take, will require a lot of storage space. So before you start filming, make sure you have enough space on your memory cards or smartphones. It's also a good idea to lower the bitrate in your settings when you're shooting with two or more cameras. If you don't know what bitrate is or what settings to use, check out our recent video on camera settings. So you've already shot everything and are happy with the result, hopefully. How do you edit it all using Movavi Video Editor course? Movavi Video Editor offers a huge range of cool video editing tools that can save you a ton of time. Background removal using artificial intelligence, easy. Noise removal from sound, done. Smart tracking, beat detection, it's all there. In addition, hundreds of various effects, animations of text, music, stickers, and so on are available. Just guys, keep your holidays glowing. Hop on our New Year's sale and dazzle your subscribers with freshly brewed content through 2024 and beyond. Get infinite creative power and craft unforgettable New Year memories with Movavi Unlimited. Add a touch of holiday enhancement to your photos and videos in a few clicks with AI-driven tools. Capture your screen, webcam, and audio to record joyous greetings. Decorate your heartfelt video messages with the help of thousands of creative effects. The sale is the great way to enjoy your very own wonderland with up to 80% off any creative app you need for the upcoming year to explore new creative horizons. And you can claim a gift every time you shop at the sale. Subscribe to the Movavi Unlimited at 80% off and start the new year with a powerful new creative tool belt. Get every feature we develop, no extra fees all year long. Once you have your footage, it's time to start editing. The editing process will be much easier if you followed my advice and recorded sound on all cameras. No, seriously, never, never shoot with multiple cameras without sound. It gets really painful to edit in that case. If you were able to sync the cameras with a sync cable, then editing will be a breeze. If not, don't worry too much. You just drag the video clips onto the timeline, zoom in slightly, and find the loudest sound in the frame that clap you made at the beginning. If for some 
reason the second camera can't record sound then show something very noticeable in the frame very quickly. For example, you could raise and lower your hand. On the timeline, you need to find the moment when you raise your hand and mark that point. Then you can sync the other angles to that point. It's still easier with sound though. The editing process is now pretty simple. Just cut the clips at the same time, select the clip you want, trim it, mark it with a marker and lower the opacity of any clips you don't want to use. I recommend not deleting unused clips. Instead, just go into the file settings and lower the opacity to zero or place them on a hidden track above. That way you can always go back and add a different angle if you need to. In my videos, I edit like this. When I'm saying something important, I use the footage from the main camera angle. When I'm saying something less important, I switch to the secondary angle. It's a pretty simple technique, but it helps to avoid making the video boring and keep the viewer from getting tired when there is a long talking head segment. Editing multi-camera video can be a bit tricky, but it's also a lot of fun. I recommend editing multi-camera video so that each camera angle has its own video track. This will give you the most editing flexibility and make it easier to sync the footage. Usually there are no transitions in multi-cam videos. Creating multi-camera videos is already a great way to increase engagement, so additional techniques, effects, uh, transitions are not really needed. But if you still want to add a few transitions between angles, you will have to edit slightly differently. Instead of allocating a separate track for each angle, everything must be done on a single track. Of course, this leaves you with much less flexibility in terms of replacing frames and angles, but it opens up the opportunity to add those transitions, and if you choose the right transition, you can organically jump from one angle to another. The editing of multi-camera videos is quite simple for the most part, but even in it, you can often make trivial mistakes. For example, if the angles are chosen incorrectly, the video may look illogical or even ridiculous, or if you switch between a wide shot and close up too quickly, the viewer could feel dizzy and turn off your video. But still, don't be afraid to shoot videos with multiple cameras, it's really worth it. Take a smartphone, put it somewhere on the cheap tripod and your video will become much more interesting to watch. It's not as difficult as it seems, in fact, even with a little bit of extra effort, your videos can become much, much better. And if you want to learn how to increase retention through editing, be sure to watch our other videos. Thanks for watching guys, like this video and subscribe to the channel. Peace out.